Hello and welcome. In this video I will show you guys how you um, make a shared parameter so we can uh, specify and identify the different materials as you see here in those examples. Um, you can use them in uh, shadows to um, yeah, give it an overview which uh, identity is which material of course. And also on the buildings you can uh, use that here also like you see in the front elevation of a existing building you can uh, identify the materials on the facade and make a shell of it. So um, yeah, uh, let's go. Well guys, uh, let's make the uh, annotation tag. So first you go right here to file. Then you go to new and then you choose not family but annotation symbol. You click on it and now we're gonna use multi category tag. Why? Because we're gonna tag uh, uh, different materials and it means it's gonna be uh, it can be walls, beams, and so on. So you need to have the multi tag category. Just open it and wait if it can be slow sometimes so that's what we have now and let's uh, yeah, begin it so first things first uh, you will gonna make a label just uh, put it down here just click anywhere in the white space and now you can look for the shared parameter but I see it isn't loaded in so what do you do? You click on new parameter and then uh, parameter type shared of course because we have uh, we are going to use tags and then you're gonna go select and then the shared parameter window pops up. So um, uh, which one do we need? The identification. So the identification means that we are um, uh, using a symbol or a number to specify the material uh, identity. So we click OK. Then you can't just do much, just click OK. And then again, you're gonna load it in right here, like in the shadows. And here stands sample value. Oh, I clicked escape, my bad. Well, we're gonna do it again a lot faster. OK, OK, load it in. And then you just click OK and not escape by me. Then uh, there is the Oh, there is the tag that you have. Now you see here material identification. Well, you're just gonna click on edit label and then you're gonna select a letter and we're gonna put it A, of course. And now you see that's a lot better. Now, the next thing that we're going to do, uh, this label is three millimeters uh, big, that's quite big to be honest so we're gonna uh, switch it to 1.8 and i like it voila click apply and you see that's already better we don't gonna make it uh, opaque we're gonna make it transparent you will see why and i why i make it transparent now the, those things are good um we'll click apply okay now we're gonna put it more in the middle because when you tag this will be the center of yeah of the notation. Now the next thing that we're going to do is make a circle or a uh, rectangle. I will make a rectangle, why not? So you go to create tab right here, then you go to line, then we're gonna get a polygon with only four sides and now we're gonna just do it like this and move the letter a little bit upwards and that seems quite all right now we uh, adjust it uh, to transparent and now you guys thinking hmm, what you're gonna do now well we will make a mask region what it means it will make a white space on the on the view you are in so it d doesn't interfere with uh, the number or um, yeah letter that you gave it. Then you're just gonna um, select, oh, 
escape select all the lines and you will do it to invisible lines else you will have uh, lines overlapping and it won't look great so click on finish and voila that's how you make the multi uh, shared parameter and of course um, don't forget to save so that's the first thing that you can do now the next thing uh, we are going to make a shared parameter itself so let's make shared parameters well we go to the manage tab then right here you go to shared parameters and now we're gonna create a separate file oh excuse me so we can uh, save it on computer upload it on onedrive and get the parameters on another computer or elsewhere so we're gonna to create first then we're gonna name it um, video uh, shared parameter oh. shared parameter okay now we have we created our file and now we need to make a new group in the file so we're gonna name it video then we're gonna uh, make the parameter itself click on new right here then we're gonna give it a name um, identification then a very important step already right here don't use length use text else you can't um, uh, put uh, letters in it in the white box now the description we're gonna uh, identification number number all right then just click ok so we made a shared parameter now now we're gonna make a second one uh, deal and material name here then again text okay and then just click okay now nothing much happened right now but don't worry now from the shared parameter we need to make it a, a project parameter so we go to project parameters now we're gonna make a new one then click here right here on shared parameter select then select identification and now a very important step again don't use instance but type why do you don't use instance because if you have a uh, gproc wall uh, if you choose instance um, you will have to specify every uh, gproc wall in the project and yeah put a letter on it if you do type you will need to select one uh, gproc wall and then all the gproc walls in your project will be the identification, identification number that you want so that's uh, yeah, quite important now we're going to group it under identity data and then for the video now we're going to use walls and windows for now and click okay now the next one is again shared parameter right here then select select our shared parameter that we want material name then again we go to type and we're gonna use identity data and again walls and windows and make sure everything is okay then click ok click ok again and now the parameters should work so we're gonna draw a wall and look if it works now we don't see them here on the identity data why because they are not instance they are types and then you see the parameters right here in the type panel then you scroll down and now you see our two um, shared parameters that we made so they work now to be sure we can scroll down and give it a and then we're gonna uh, name it uh, brick wall voila 
there you have it and now every wall if you draw another one like this create similar and now we have here and here they are also the same you see that's why you need to choose a type and not instance so the parameter works and now we're going to use it uh, for real <laughs> Well, let's annotate the wall so we can uh, specify the different materials from the wall. So remember that we made our uh, shared parameter, uh, save it and then load it into the project. Uh, don't see that. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is uh, give the materials a identification and the material name. So this will be one and the plating right then the other one here we're gonna use number four and this will be all right apply and now all the materials uh, i already done the other part so we're gonna uh, tag it now we're gonna first of all you see the error that means that we need to lock our 3d view before we can annotate so we right here you lock the view then click here on multi uh, category click on it and then we have here our uh, parameter now i will use a tab key to pick the wall and as you see we have here a question mark that means that the uh, family isn't working I have already an ID why so we go back to the family and then go to the label then we're gonna edit the label and as I see I have the wrong uh, parameter name so I will uh, delete it and then make a new one select and here you see we can select uh, the view parameter then you go to edit then uh, bros and then if then you have here our shared parameter open click ok and now we see video identification click ok again ok and then load this in video identification again with the letter a apply ok and there we go i think it remembers the height all right voila then load it back in of course overwrite it and boom voila there you have it and now we're gonna annotate the rest of the materials of course like this then we have here this one voila uh, this part right here voila now we have the big one right here we're gonna use this and then we have again this one here as you see now four voila and then we have this one right here and now we have this one right here and i think i have every method Material, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I haven't got the two, of course. Voila. There you have it. I'm gonna make it a bit more clear, like you see here. All right. Voila. And now the next thing that we're going to do is, of course, make a shadow from it. Well, how do you do that? Very simple. You go to View, then we go to Shadows. Shell and quantities, we will make it a name material legend, I think, <laughs> and then click OK. And then we're gonna look for our parameter that we made right here, add them in, OK, and then we're gonna delete this one. Uh, yes and we're gonna go for tile view so we see better i'm gonna make this a little bit more like this now we see it better and zoom with the control key and now we're gonna edit the shadow voila 
material name. Then we go to edit, so get rid of the white spaces. We're gonna sort it by identification number. Uh, then we can uncheck it, so the white bars are gone. Click OK, there we have it. Now we're gonna align them to the center identification. All right, then we go to edit the appearance, outline, we're gonna use a three and ten lines, we're gonna use black one, then stripe color, blank arrow data, then we're gonna do shadow default and we're gonna use a the title text will be 2.4 and the rest will be um, 2 point oil 2 point oh and click OK. There we have it. We will add some shading, a little bit gray, and we're gonna shade that also by this gray. And voila, there you have it. And now we're gonna put it, of course, on a, a sheet I already have here. Gonna make it a little bit bigger so you can see it better what I'm doing. Now for the sheet, gonna use the house one and zoom a little bit more in like this. And we will put no title, voila. And then what you can do is right here, you have our material and then just do it right here. Of course, now we can adjust it a bit, oh, too small. And voila, that's how you do it, guys. Um, that's how you make a shadow with the materials. And uh, so you can explain your wall parts better and uh, yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.